Hey there math friends, welcome to today's video. So today we're doing part two of this um, worksheet. Basically we're doing numbers 11 through 19. You do not have to do number 20. And watching this video is totally optional. Um, if you would like to work through problems number 11, 13, and 18 with me, then stay tuned. But if you feel like you've got it on your own and you'd rather just do it, that's totally fine too. So let's get started with problem number 11. Let's read it first. A recipe calls for two parts sugar to seven parts flour. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make some notes about that. So we've got sugar, two parts sugar to seven parts flour. So sugar on top, flour on bottom, just to kind of keep that organized there. All right, it says, if you wanna make a batch that has 54 parts all together. Okay, so we're talking totals here, right? The whole. So let's write another thing down here for the whole. Um, and you're trying to find the batch that has 54 in the whole. Okay, so 54 parts all together. How much more flour than sugar do you need? Okay, before we can figure out how much more flour than sugar we need, we need to figure out these parts here. So, let's get started. So let's figure out the whole for this ratio. In order to do that, you just add the parts together. So two plus seven, that equals nine. And now probably the simplest, fastest way to get this answer is to figure out the scale factor that takes us from 9 to 54. Now I know that 9 times 6 is 54, so 6 is that scale factor. I'm just going to make a note of it, and we've been putting them in squares, so let's just keep doing that. So 6, six is my scale factor. That means I can multiply my sugar times 6 and my flour times 6 to figure out that ratio that goes there. So 2 times 6 is 12. And seven times six is 42. Now just as a quick double check, let's make sure that these two numbers add up to this whole. So two plus two is four, one plus four is five. Okay, looks like we got it. Now let's reread the question one more time. It says, how much more flour than sugar do you need? Okay, so to figure that out, let's take the flour and subtract the sugar from it. And you're gonna get um, 30. So the answer is, 30 parts, oh, I don't know why I wrote an S there. 30 parts, more flour than sugar. That's super messy, but you guys know what I mean. So 30 parts more flour than sugar. So that's number 11. As you approach number 12, it's gonna be a very similar approach. So I'm gonna skip it now, we're gonna to go to number 13. Number 13 isn't very different. In fact, if anything, it's probably a little simpler than 11. Um, one fewer step anyway. It says during the holiday sale, the store sold iPhones and droids in the ratio of one to three. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some notes on that. One to three, and that was iPhones to droids. All right, if they sold a total of 32 phones, so we've got our whole, otherwise known as total, either way, We've got this um, row down here, and we know that we're gonna have 32 phones total at the end, so we're just gonna put that there. Okay, if they sold a t total of 32 phones, how many droids were sold? All right, so this is gonna be very similar. We need to figure out what number goes here so that we can figure out the scale factor to make it into a 32. So to figure out this number, we just add the parts. One plus three equals four. And now how do you use multiplication or division to make a four turn into a 32? You're gonna multiply by eight, right, good, times eight. Okay, so now you gotta take that scale factor and I'll write it in the little box there. Take that scale factor and apply it to iPhones and apply it to droids. So one times eight and three times eight. One times eight is eight, three times eight is 24. And that should be your final ratio there. Let's just add them up and they should equal 32. I don't quite have that lined up right, but eight plus 24 should equal 32, and it does. So we've double checked and we're good there. Now, what was the question they were asking? It says, how many droids were sold? Okay, that piece of information is right here on the D row, D for droids. So 24 droids were sold. And that's your answer. Okay, so let's take a look at number 18, which is just a little bit different. It's not crazy or anything, though. Let's go ahead and read it. For every four candy bars LSLs, Ben sells three. Okay, it looks like our ratio is four to three. 
So four, three, and that's Ella to Ben. So Ella to Ben. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put a little column here for whole as well. Ella sold 24 bars. How many did Ben sell? Okay, so over here on the other side of the proportion, Ella's number is going to be 24. So we're going to put that there. And then we don't know what goes here. You know what? Actually, we're not going to need the whole in this case. You could find it out for fun if you want, but do you need it to figure out this number? No. So at this point, we have two choices. We could continue to use scale factor. So if that's something that you like to do, that's what we'll do here. So using scale factor, how do you turn a 4 into a 24? What are you going to multiply or divide by? Here it looks like we can multiply by 6. So the scale factor is going to be a 6. So over here on the denominator side of things, we're going to also multiply by a 6. And 3 times 6 is going to be 18. So it looks like Ben sold uh, 18 candy bars. I'm just going to abbreviate that really quick. So Ben sold 18 candy bars. Now what if you didn't want to use, use your scale factor? What's the other method you could use? Yeah, you could totally cross multiply here, right? So you would probably put an X here inside the circle and then you draw your, your butterfly circles like this. And then you would have, I'm gonna just write it down here, okay? You would have three times 24 equals four times X. Because remember, we don't know it's 18 yet. We're trying to solve it again. Um, and then we're just gonna divide by the four. So let's see, 24 divided by four is six. Four divided by four is one. And those cancel out. So three times six is 18 equals X. So it's just another way to get that exact same answer. All right, thanks for watching and have fun with the assignment. I'll see you next time.